Welcome to uh, Palette Expanders episode 13. Double digits. Double, yeah. Uh, multiple times now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how math works first, first for you. Season. Yeah, just keep, number keeps just going keep up. going up, never down for some reason. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, you probably have seen the show. I'm not going to explain it again. If you haven't, there are 12 other episodes to acclimate yourself to this. But BC, you have brought this thing. Is visualized on the screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have brought this thing visualized on the screen, and um, we're gonna go ahead and crack them open. This is um, sick version. Yeah, we both have colds. <laughs> we're yeah, we're both the weather change and and things are happening here in Oklahoma. So yeah, seems like everybody's tell. sick in Oklahoma. We, we both right sound now. like this right so now. So this is gonna be interesting because our ability to taste and smell is limited. Uh huh. At least we're both both hampered. It's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not hampered, yeah. hampered. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go and pour them. Oh, wait, we need more glasses than this. That's true. Oh, we could share glasses. Share. <laughs> we'll just share glasses too. That's that would be one very to, intimate episode <laughs> to get over our sickness. <laughs> you commented color. I didn't. Was yeah. not prepared for that. Although yeah. your bottle's green, so how do you know? Well, I was mostly talking about, like, it Clarity. wasn't, like, opaque, right? Like, uh, it wasn't, like, a dark red or a dark brown. I could see straight through yours, and so I figured I would I would pair with something of a similar color range. Right. We did not plan, by the way. We did not plan. It's no. Just a... No, that actually Ooh, was yours. bottled right before I left. Fragrant. Yours is. Is it? Very. Oh, yeah. 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 You can smell it. Mine does not. When I opened mine, it did not have the same fragrance <laughs> as yours. No special pour cam, sorry. This is one of my favorites. This is, you know, I, I made this a long time ago. I think like two years ago now. Mm. And every time I open a bottle, it changes. Ooh. And I think it's getting better. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see today. I think. But like, it was one of those that went into the bottle so hot. Just mm. like undrinkable alcohol burn. And so in my head it was like, okay. We, we'll just be patient with this one. Well, my poor, my poor got a little more hazy, but um, on my right, I'm holding on your right, on my right, the BC doing the most thingamabob. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and on my left is my own thingamabob. Your creation. Creation, yeah, there we go. Fancy term. Um, Pretty different in the color department. Yes, you got a nice little orange. This is literally, we keep saying this, I keep saying this in videos, this is the... Jurassic Park, amber, uh, little staff. Oh yeah, thing. yeah. You could see like a mosquito hanging yep. out in there. For sure, mine is very uh, yellow straw. Mm -hmm. Say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yours is yours has got a vibrant yellow oh, color ooh. to it. I mean, it's almost like uh, it's like just shy of Mountain Dew, right? Like it's it's a pretty <laughs> yellow yellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right. I fermented some Mountain Dew. I got really inspired by a recent <laughs> trend. <laughs> Are we starting with mine? Okay. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty fragrant in the glass. Mm -hmm. I will say it is. There's some citrus. Mm -hmm. Like bright citrus. Not like a dark pithy citrus, but like a lemony, hoppy, bright, kind of verdant. A little bit grassy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. You know? The word verdant just appeared on screen for those of you. We're learning together. Yeah. This is the learning <laughs> channel. <laughs> That's a sip and saver. Yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, there's some candy notes in there. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, you know, like a. Like a taffy. Oh. Or. Okay. I could see that. Something. Okay, yeah. Or like sorbet, like a, like a lemon sorbet kind mm. of, like creamy mm. candy. I do you think I, I know pillowy. where that's coming from? That makes sense. Yep. Mm hmm. It's very inviting. I, I, Ooh, it's I, very I'm inviting. excited to try it. Come I hope it in. tastes as good as it smells. It's just fine. All right, let's see yours. Okay, yeah. Woo! I get a um, 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 orange, um, like a dark, uh, not dark orange. Um, there is like a dark pithiness to this to me. Mm. It does have that pine, oh, pineapple. Definitely pineapple. Yeah, it's 100% pineapple, not orange. I redact my statement. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been retracted. <laughs> Removed from the official record, big tropical. Yeah, huge. I mean, I can't get past the, the pineapple. My brain goes to tapache, but that's just, mm -hmm. you know, that's a major, that's a major pineapple-based mm -hmm. brew. Mm -hmm. So that's, that is where I'm, I'm at. 
I, th right. I think we start with yours. Tasting wise. Okay. I okay. That's fine. Happy to. I don't know that it really is going to matter all that much, but we'll see. This is going to have some density to it. Ooh. I like some chew. Mm. Ooh, yeah. It is definitely thicker. It's got like a, um, you know, I made like a pineapple, like a maple syrupy kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is screaming a little bit to me. A little bit of like richness from like a, a maple syrupy or a, a honey in that regard. And then this big old pineapple note on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could see where this would have been hot at the start because it is definitely higher ABV. And yeah. Kind of chunky. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Man, I cannot get past that pineapple. Uh, there's that richness. There's a richness there that it's not oak to me. It, I don't I have no oak. I have no presence there or anything like that. But there's like that undercurrent. And I don't know if it's like a like a tea base or um, hmm. Good. I could I'm I could down this glass. Super easy. And Will, thank you very much. It's 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 a it's a big one. It's this one maxed out the yeast at about eighteen percent. So. It is. Maybe one it's one, not. one glass might be... Maybe it's not. Mm. I'm trying to find honey now. I'm looking for honey. Mm. I'm like, I am trying to find that floral. That's what I'm looking for. You can see the data computing. Weirdly, I think I would, I would prefer this sweeter. Mm. I think it needs just a little bit more sweetness. It's it very sweet. I cannot mm. tell if it's the pineapple sugars presenting this way or if it's truly... Sugar, sugar, you know, mm -hmm. table sugar. But it does have a table sugary vibe to me. It less than honey. So I'm not getting a ton of honey character. And there is that richness, but I do, I, in all my pineapple research that I have spent years and years totally doing, mm -hmm. that rich pineapple character can present as dark sometimes. When you get mm -hmm. a sweet, ripe pineapple, mm -hmm. that original first bite is sometimes like a, a warmer profile mm -hmm. than the bright acidic. And so I might be seeing the pineapple there as like a warm thing with some real sugar, some sort of wine. I'm trying to find honey. Sorry if I'm not finding it, but if it is honey, it is blending well with the <laughs> pineapple. And it could be like a, a bright, meadow foamy like style that is in that bright register. I don't know if I'm ready to guess that, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let my, my mind permeate for a second. Okay, let's move on to yours. Give me a vibe change. Maybe. We're both tropical. That has a lot more density than I was expecting. <laughs> I haven't had this one in a while. So. These are both pretty syrupy. Yes. I would agree. Definitely um, get that vibe. Yeah. Desserty. Like this one, a little bit was so shocking that it was hard to swallow because yeah, you I was can like, see that your body oh, went like, like <laughs> well, it was like coating my mouth, you know, in a way that I I just wasn't. It just it looks so light. There's just a uh -huh. touch of like sparkle in there. Yeah, oh. slight petulance. What do you? It's what do you get? Salty. Getting? Salty. Oh. I can see that. Yeah, I can see. There's a brackishness, like a just like a slight seawater kind of saltiness. Mm. I don't really. You pick any any prominent flavors up? You find anything there? There's some fruity flavors in there, like a fruit <clears throat> cocktail kind of flavor. I'm not picking up anything that's really screaming at me. It's I, like you said, it's tropical, but there's not like I could guess that there's like mango in here, maybe. Mm hmm. Because there's that like. It is very tropical. It does have that vibe. I will say. It's got like a tart. Shout out to this honey right here for being. <laughs> So tropical. I will just go and spoil. It does have mead characters, so okay. I'm sure you were able to pick up some something there. I don't know if that's enough spoilers to, to give you no. anything. I there's not a, a distinct fruit that's jumping out at me. Yep. If I had to guess a fruit, I would guess mango just because that's how it presents. It's got that like not citrus, yeah, but not like suntan oil tropical flavor. Mm, yep, it's yep. got that oh, yep. like guava mango mm. kind of middle ground that mm. like pulpy tropical fruit yeah, kind yeah. of flavor pog pog juice style like that kind of in between you ever mm -hmm. had pog juice mm -hmm. but like Passion orange guava for 
for you as I'm um, playing along. If I had to just like make a guess at what's what the curveball here is, I would guess that it was like fermented with coconut water or something because mm. there this is salty. There is a salty Yeah. No, I, I get what you're saying, because it is like it's the aftertaste. It's got this like kind of like woo thing going on. I'm getting it in the mid palate. When I take a sip and kind of like spread it around and swish it around, I'm getting yeah. salinity. Mm -hmm. Like it, it tastes like saline, like salt, like ocean water. <laughs> and it's not too much. Like I don't not enjoy it. That's the, I think that's the thing that I'm having to like turn some knobs in my brain on because I usually don't want a salty drink unless it's ghost. like a, It's that ghost style. Like you're... Yeah, yeah. or... or uh, that's a funny. Bloody Mary or something, mm -hmm. right? Where you like salt the rim and 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 have like tomato juice. So it's not offensive. It's just like it also doesn't say mead to me. But yeah. I think you're right that there's more honey character here than it is in my glass. Yeah, which this this is a mead. Mm, that is interesting. And I think you're gonna be interested to. to Gosh, it has so much maple mapley warmth to me that it's like. I want to look and see what the honey was for this one. I will. I will let the glass talk to me. You may tell me what you are. Hey man, I'm a freaking pineapple mid stop talking and just guess. It's not working. Very yeah, well. it's, 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 not, it's not talking to me. I want you to include like a weird Fiverr voice. It was speaking. Over of... yeah, it was speaking in a different language. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> you idiot. All right, give me just one second. I'll okay. say. I'll say this. Okay. The honey character is. I mean, it has to be a, a really um, neutral. Neutral or. Or um, <clears throat> like peeking into that, which I've I've done this every time. By the way, anyone who's a current or a long time watcher of palate expanders mm -hmm. know that knows that my world of metal foam honey and pineapple has always been mm -hmm. way too close. I have always put them side by side. Interesting. Okay. Like and we've done a couple different pineapple things, you know, over mm -hmm. time. Every time I'm like pineapple, or pineapple, metal foam. You know, I'm in that realm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick my guns and say. Pineapple, get rid of the meadow foam. Neutral honey, and there might be like, I mean, there's just some viscosity here that I, I don't get like a, a spice. I'm trying to find a spice, like a tapache, you know, cinnamon, but they're not mm -hmm, seeing that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's got some, got a little bit of that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Gosh, there's, there is something that it's the finish there. That's like maybe a little bit of a, a so, soft spice. I don't know. It could be honey. This is a hard one, man. Ha, ha, you, you, ha, ha, you did a good ha, ha, one. Ha. Okay. You did well, a good one. I'm going to guess that yours is like some weird wine, like tropical wine base, and you've done something with either some tainted water or some coconut water. Yeah. One of the two. I forgot to tell you, last time I went to the beach, I just kind of <laughs> picked up a bucket, you know, like I did with my snow video. I just yeah, kind of took a bucket of snow, took a bucket of seawater. Sea water. It's salty. It's salty. It is. And I'm I'm so fascinated to find out why. All right, you right. Oh, let's start with me then, since we're we're on the topic. This is a. Da, 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 da. You know, it's like if you Slow try reveal. like a ribbon cutting that uh -huh. doesn't quite cut. <laughs> Lactomel. Oh. This is a milk-based mead for anyone at home. Is this and, the only lactomel you've done? Yes. I found a bottle of this that I almost brought with me. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> to, I, I was going through to, my wine closet. To taste closet. as my... Yeah. As, oh, that would have been... I was going Next. through my closet. My wine closet. I will send you a picture tonight. And I that found the awesome. same blue label. And it said Lactamel. And I was like, I've already punked him once that way. Like That would have been... It would be played out to do it twice. Hysterical. Do you, how long do you think it would be before we realized? <laughs> I mean, tasting them side by side. I mean, I, yeah, I it'd hope. be like moments. Okay. Interesting. Lact milk, milk based okay. mead, um, which basically you take and heat up milk, put some mm -hmm. lemon juice in it, which is where you're getting a lot of yeah. the <coughs> acidity and uh -huh. lemon side. This is Lahua blossom honey, so mm -hmm. it has a lot of that Hawaiian yeah. fruity notes that we're talking about there. The salinity, salty side is what's interesting. You know, I, I, I guess that is a part of probably the milk. Base? I don't really know because I didn't put anything to make it salty or to perceive that way. And you just used lemon juice to curdle the milk. You didn't use rennet or anything else. Nope. I don't. It is salty. Mm -hmm. So maybe that cow got into an onion patch or something. 
<laughs> old Bessie, <laughs> old Bessie got loose, came back. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's this not was bad. a curveball. This was a curveball because it is. There's a lot thick. of weird. There's a lot of weird flavors too, and it does not to me like when you say a milk based mead, my brain mm. goes to like all of these dark web weird, you know, like moments of yeah. like, oh no, what's gonna I happen? I was actually I was I was working on balancing my lactamel yesterday, and I think I went too far. It's a tough one to balance. It is a tough one to balance, yeah. Because that milk base does provide some density, some viscosity that that you're not typically used to with a mead, yeah. which is is such almost, I don't want to say watery, but it's a very thin thing mm -hmm, typically mm -hmm. before it has been balanced right. to to wash around the mouth. It's ten and a half, obviously, that, that, yeah, pr this that bolstered it up. 18. All right. So break, this break was my heart. <laughs> this was using QA twenty three, which I believe is uh, goes up to sixteen percent. Yes, but this overshot. I had I had put enough dang honey yeast. in there in hopes. Just listen to the instructions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just I had hoped it would stall out and naturally, but it didn't. It blew right through and okay. went dry, and so I ended up having to actually back sweeten this one. This was a mead made with honey and pineapple juice. I went to the, okay. the the chef store Got it. down on 240, and I bought an entire case of canned pineapple juice. And so I opened like 16 Ooh. cans of pineapple right. juice, yeah. five-gallon batch, a bunch of honey, QA23. And the thing that I had forgotten that I looked at in my notes was that I actually did use a little bit of dark toast oak mm. for balancing, for balancing out the okay. tannin. Yeah, There's a sense. little bit of acid adjustment okay. because pineapple... You know, you would think pineapple would be too acidic, right? But actually, it needs a little bit more mm -hmm. to bring some of that pineapple character back. Yep. And then I did end up back sweetening. You're right; it was a neutral honey. It okay. was wildflower honey. So just my foam. You choice. didn't catch me this time. <laughs> and yeah, it's just. I mean, it's a straight up no water pineapple mead. Just pineapple juice. It's really good. I mean, it is and honey and. I don't know what that like. There's just some richness in there, and it must be the oak. It must be the oak just kind of playing with the mm -hmm. sweetness and the honey and blah blah blah, all that. But that is really good. It is a it is a bomb, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's sack strength, and there was two pounds of honey in a five gallon batch to back sweeten, so it's also fairly sweet. Yeah, not as sweet as some people would make it. I think I would like it just a little bit sweeter. I, I personally, I am. Well, cool. I don't know. I might want a little bit of like tartaric acid in here too to help balance out that, to like zhuzh up the, the got, acid profile just a little bit more, freshen it up a little. I bit. wouldn't. I wouldn't do tartaric. I would do citric. Yeah, maybe and citric. Only because I want, like I I have the when I think of um, acidity, sometimes I think of low, medium, and high acidity, mm -hmm. and like I kind of equate tartaric to be low, like kind of yeah. lower, and then medium being malic, high being. Interesting. And I kind of want okay. more of that high, more of that that bright <laughs> top instead of yeah. I'm a drummer, so like I'm thinking like I see what bass drum, saying. snare drum, and hi hat. I want I got, oh, okay. I got boom, and I got and I got I want on top. Okay, yeah. That's what see, I want. See, I feel like tartaric and citric are kind of playing in that same realm. They just like kind of taste differently. But I see yeah. what you're saying. Citric acid would would amplify the tropical nature of this and probably also dial back on some of that mm. like that sensation of cloying mm. that you get with yeah, this yeah, yeah. by brightening it up a little bit in a way that like washes it that makes sense. off your tongue mm -hmm. or it feels that way. It is, yeah, it is. I it's mean, it's dense. I would be curious I'm to see. I'm feeling it. Like my, my body temperature has <laughs> We risen. got another one to record. Get it together, man. <laughs> Drinking this. So, well, no, this is one of my favorite. I'm excited to have a bottle of this open for the podcast. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah by the way, uh, two ways to find Doing the Most um, and me. But Doing the Most is uh, has his own YouTube channel. Yeah. You, I'm sure if you're watching It'll this. It'll be in the description. We've got a very sure. um, a small niche market of the universe <laughs> that watches these. So if you're not a regular person, welcome. But uh, we have and a podcast. If you enjoy Palette Expanders... Tell us about it in the yeah. comments. Why? Why do you enjoy it? Is yeah. It, is it all? Is it this? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you? What what elements do you like about this? Because we've noticed that there's like a dedicated mm -hmm. base of people there's who <laughs> really enjoy these videos, while the videos still get kind of like uh, middle of the road right. views. Mm -hmm. So tell us about it in the comments. What do you like about the show? Yeah. I'm curious. I, I'm curious too. But we'll be back soon. Same shirts and all. <laughs> I um, might roll up my sleeves. <laughs> check out our podcast. <laughs> 
uh, homebrew guys, and uh, see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.